Hey guys, it's Jen. Welcome to the farm. Um, we had something fun come in the mail the other day. I haven't unboxed it yet, so I thought I would bring you along to see what it is and what we're going to do with it. Okay, we have trees. They're fruit trees. Um, I think they're bare root. I got to um, undo them still. Um, they do come with, somebody thinks that the paper products need to go in the water I have for them. But we have a... Cortland apple, contender peach, and I think I got two contender peaches. Yep, two contender peaches. These are not from Stark Brothers. Okay, they did come bare root, but they did come packaged in what I would consider like kind of straw or hay. Um, not too happy that this, I don't know if that's fescue, what kind of grass it is. Anyway. I'll throw that all in the burn barrel. It's damp right now because they wanted moisture around the roots for shipping. Um, but we'll just burn that. It'll dry out and burn with everything else. Um, but they did come bare root. Sorry for the lighting change. And wrapped up. And there's little buds on them. And I'm going to put them in this bucket of water that Ellie keeps putting the packaging in. To soak for a couple hours before we plant them. So I mentioned that these are not from Stark Brothers. Um, Stark Brothers is a very, very popular uh, fruit tree company. They have other things on their website as well. However, and, and I have gotten things from them in the past, but a few years ago when I was looking for trees again, I saw their pricing and I'm like, there's no way I can afford that. I We want like six or eight trees minimum. And, you know, gradually maybe we'll add more um, depending on how much we actually need. Fruit trees initially can be a lot of maintenance just because you have to water them so often. Last year we planted six and we lost, I think, all but one. Uh, that's why I have two peach and one apple. I think only one apple out of the six different trees. We had two peach, two apple, two cherries survived. There was a drought in our area and we were way too busy. So I decided let's just stick with hopefully the one that made it another apple tree, and then two peach trees because we like symmetry here. <laughs> Colt and I are a little bit both OCD. I did not order from Stark Brothers because I didn't feel like the price justified the means, I guess. Maybe that's snobbish of me, but I found this company because there's a fruit, there's an apple tree that my mom really likes. There's a type of apple that she really likes and they carried it. It's called Apollo Red. It's an early apple and it's a very soft apple. So it's not good for storage, but I came across them and their prices were pretty reasonable and they're in Wisconsin. And the reason really why I like this, not only are they reasonably priced, they're in Wisconsin, which means they're further north than me, which means the trees are more dormant when they come to me. Whereas Stark Brothers is in Missouri, which is further south. And if you go, if you're in our area, you go to the tractor supply or box store and you look at their fruit trees, they're already like leafed out, flowering or whatever. They're too far in their growth stage for our time of um, planting. So these are, these are a little farther along in dormancy. They do have some buds on them. I think I showed you, but they're not so far that they're going to be hurt by our frost, our late winter zaps or whatever. We're still in the thirties at night once in a while, at least a 10 day forecast. So I'm going to stick these in some water and later today we will, um, hopefully plant them. Best laid plans tend to, <laughs> not happen around here. Anyway, Ellie is continuing to making stick and dandelion and packaging tape and paper soup in my bucket. So I better get these in right away. This is our orchard and it's, sorry for the wind this is about the only time I can film right now so last year we had two apple trees one two two peach trees one two not the white stake it was further up there and then two cherry trees one at this stake 
and one right in front of me and they pretty much all died the only one that seems to have survived is where that white stake is one of the apple trees so we put the the new apple tree here and we decided to put the peach trees here they're a little closer than walking way out there especially from our water source and then we also planted four blueberry bushes in these cages those two cages and then there's a one with two bushes in it i need to get in there weed them mulch them acidify them with some sulfur but um we just dug a hole put them in there's a hundred videos out there about doing it just note where the graft is in your tree this is where one graft is on the peach um, and then the the apple tree was a lot more pronounced. So the origin was really difficult for us. We really, we have, we now have two water sources, but they're both like close to a hundred yards away. Um, no joke. So, uh, and our hoses don't reach quite that far. We could get another hose, but I went through three hoses last year just by um, one of the barns because hoses now, I mean, I blew a fitting. The inside collapsed on one. Um, the other one sprung like leaks everywhere. It was it was weird, and I'm not spend, gonna spend like forty to sixty dollars on a garden hose that just conks out in a week on me. So we don't have water out here. Our water source ends at the chicken coop with the hose, and then we kind of schlep water to our trees. So it's very tedious, time consuming, but in a perfect world you plant your trees you slow trickle water on them for i would say a couple hours honestly maybe somebody else differs with that but i would say do it last year i did put in some fertilizer stakes but when i planted the ones at my parents i didn't do any kind of fertilization and they did marginally fine um, it did take several years to get a crop um, and then my peach tree died it produced like two years and then just up and died my apple trees are still going good. Um, last year's harvest wasn't the greatest, but I'm hoping this year it's kind of a cyclical thing, I think. One year they'll do really well, and then the next year they might not do as well because I've produced so much. But um, these come pre-pruned. There are a couple pieces where I might come back later and prune just because they're not ideal branch placement. Um, the apple tree was super stout. It was like this short, fat thing, like a little sumo wrestler but we're really excited for this for now i think two of each kind of tree is going to be more than enough for us because we don't eat a ton of like pies um chris that kind of thing colton isn't a big sweet guy i love them but i shouldn't eat them in case you hadn't you know <laughs> but like i'm looking forward to applesauce i make peach jam every couple of years to restock us and my parents um and blueberries we would go through a ton more blueberries if i could get these things to go but our soil is fertile it's not acidic so that's a challenge that we have to try to fix with amendments and everything and the crabgrass is taking over them of course so hopefully this year we can get back on top of the weed okay it's actually a couple days later but i wanted to show you that i weeded around them if i needed to i put a layer of cardboard down and then i put mulch you could use like straw like we've been using on the garden. You could use wood shavings, like what you'd use for pet bedding, um, whatever you want. But having some kind of mulch over the top helps hold in the moisture, keeps the weeds back and helps the mower from hitting your trees. <laughs> so I did the two peach trees. I did these two apple trees with the white stakes behind me. Um, I worked on our, um, blueberry bushes a bit I do need to oh sorry on our blueberry bushes I do need to work on our other um blueberries over there a bit more but my hands are getting ripped up too much to um really have the ambition right now um with the blueberries too our soil is really fertile and they need more and a more acidic soil so I did put some soil acidifier you can get it at most farm stores probably even like box stores like walmart and stuff in your garden section any kind of soil acidifier um i will see if there's an amazon link for that you can probably get it cheaper locally than on amazon honestly but um 
I just wanted to show you guys that because that is part of the tree maintenance that I'm trying to do. I'm trying to take back our orchard. Hopefully we can keep it alive this time. Hopefully we don't have a drought. Um, trying to get the weeds back from the blueberries because they are looking really sad, but I'm very happy. And plus the mulch, even though it's a little bit more expensive than the straw, it does look really nice. So I will give you a couple looks at them and then ask you to please subscribe and like the video. I really appreciate it. Um, I'm still blown away by my um, starting a pantry video. I'm just kind of stunned <laughs> to be honest. So I wanna keep going if possible. And the likes and subscribes honestly help motivate me to do more. Um, I'm a, I'm a results driven person. So when I don't see results, I get really discouraged just because that's kind of my personality, but I'll do my best to continue teaching and videoing and hopefully you like them. Um, and if you're interested in learning more about the peach, I don't know as much about peach. I know more about apple varieties. If you're interested in learning more about apple varieties, put a comment below, let me know, and maybe we'll do a video on that. I don't know if it'll be separate or if it'll be like with a garden tour or something, but I can tell you what I know. <laughs> not everything. I'm not an expert, but I'll tell you what I know. So thanks guys. Have a good night. Mm -hmm.